got it. He's got it. Does he have it? What is it? What's it feel like? Look at it, dude. <laughs> Holy smokes. It's a ring. <laughs> oh, look at that. What? <laughs> look at that. No. I would have jumped in there. <laughs> All right, welcome back. The poor plane has been neglected for the past couple months due to tuna fishing, but today that changes. Um, we're packing up and we're going on an epic adventure. It's gonna be so awesome, so stick around. We are headed up north. It's gonna be a three-day trip. We're gonna stay in an old camp. Dates back to like the 1940s. It's such an awesome camp. It's probably my top three favorite places in the whole world. Uh, you've met Jesse on the channel in the past, and you haven't met Jeremy yet. You can look him up. Timbercross. I haven't even met him yet. So it's nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, man. He's got an awesome, awesome channel on Facebook and YouTube. I actually found him on Facebook. He made an awesome video on a canoe trip down the Allagash River. Anyway, I'm going to get to it. We're going to get busy. We got a lot of work to do, a lot of packing to do if we're going to make it to camp by nightfall. I'm going to finish packing this stuff up, get in the air. I'll see you there. So I'm just going to need that right there. Right, you just want me to grab that when we're in the air? Exactly. And yeah. push on those pedals, right? right? All right. You guys ready? I'm ready. Look at the view ahead of us. Oh my gosh, dude. Welcome to paradise. All right, we just got here. We're getting the plane unpacked. The camp is about 50 feet above us, up a hill that's pretty much straight up. So, both ways. Yeah. In the snow. Um, but we're going to start unpacking. We're going to get into the camp, get stuff set up. Maybe if we get done in time, we're going to go out, catch a big old toad. We're about ready to go in the door. Camp Wildwood. I've been lucky to spend a lot of time up here over the years. Um, a lot of days that I should have been in school, I was too sick to go to school, but I was up here ice fishing. Um, I got a few good camp stories for later, once we're sitting down playing cribbage. Um, but we're gonna get inside. This place is really special. Oh, <laughs> nice. So excited. It's so beautiful up here. I, I don't stay here much because I'm usually running around chasing fish, um, doing a lot of fishing all over the place and I like to fish till dark. So I um, end up staying in a tent wherever I end up. But this trip is gonna be more about exploring filming so i'm going to focus more on that than i am fishing however we're still going to do plenty of fishing we have so much planned for this weekend it's going to be so much fun we got um ice caves and we're also going to go fishing for some arctic char oh beautiful moon loons out here singing this place is i don't know it's it's hard to explain but maybe it's just the amount of time that i spent up here and the memories that i have up here but there's something special about this place when you're up here it's the best stress reliever in the world. There's no other place like it. Um, what's that? Said, let's go hook a tog. Yes, that's right. We're gonna go get the boat in the water. There is a boat. I'll help you out. It's right over here. And we're gonna go out and see if we can catch a tog or a brookie. If we can, we might bring it in for dinner. We're gonna go push it in. Um, we'll go out and do a little bit of trolling. See if we can get a fish before dark. Such a beautiful night. I will see you on the water.
this is really cool. Even if we don't catch a single fish. Huh? Okay, we struck out fishing. We're back at the camp now. I'm gonna fire up some dinner. We got some deer meat, chili. Chili's baby back with you. That's a beautiful shot. <laughs> yeah, this cabin is amazing, dude. I love it up here. And so now we're gonna play some cribbage. Now I think I'm gonna grow my beard out. Yeah. Probably by morning I'll have it in pretty Jacob thick. thinks he can play cribbage, so we'll, we'll see. So now we're going to play some cribbage. Um, I think he thinks it's goldfish. Jeremy thinks that... Is it goldfish or goldfish? He thinks I that think he can goldfish. beat me, but we'll see. I don't I know. Think it's, I think it's goldfish. I'm going to say goldfish. I'm feeling a skunk. Yeah, so. well, let's see what happens. We'll see. I'm going to show oh, him you how to play. Anything? You got your notebook? I learned in prison. That's cool. Yeah. Pretty much the same thing my, my grandmother taught me. Nice. See this button. First hands of the game. Looking pretty good. Okay. Gotta make sure you guys get along oh. in the boat tomorrow. I got 19 right here. That's why I have night terrors. It's good. We got potential here. We just need a cut. We're gonna hit it? It's an eight. I just I just showed him a little trick that I learned in my second year in prison. <laughs> <laughs> With my grandmother. With his grandmother. That's right. We were sellies. Yeah. He made it past the skunk line. By just barely eight. <laughs> yeah, he's by he passed the skunk line by eight, and I'm out. I got boom 14 there to finish the game. I don't know. Are we gonna play some poker or no? I feel like we should put a wager on this for tomorrow. Yeah, whoever we could do an loser goes swimming. whoever loses it. Oh, 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 I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that exactly. either. And that's, that's really why it's the wager. Uh, the it, first one to lose all their chips or nails is going swimming tomorrow. Or possible straight here, boys. We just if you, four, and, five, six, no, seven. Listen. Straight or an ace? Come on, baby. Come on. No. Ten. Let's go right now. <laughs> yes. Hit the straight on the river. <laughs> <Just in space. laughs> so Jeremy swimming. <laughs> now, Jones. It's, it's twelve forty a.m. Yeah, we gotta get up. up we gotta get up in like yeah, four hours. Yeah. Three hours. Something like that. Fun stuff. We'll get with it, whatever. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys in about three or four hours. <laughs> Headed to bed. It's morning time. There's eggs and bacon. All right. Good morning. We're up and going. Jesse was good enough to cook us all breakfast. We're going to go check out the ice caves while the wind's calm. And then we're going to come in and we're going to troll for some Arctic char. Okay, so the glassy water is the most dangerous landing of them all. You have, you have no depth perception. You can't tell how high you are once you get over the water. Let's try to land closer to shore so you can so you, you gotta go along the tree lines. So no turning over glassy water. And you gotta be flat and ready to hit the water at any time. So if you accidentally hit the water, it doesn't, it doesn't matter too bad. Alrighty, we have made it to the trailhead. Um, we're headed into the ice caves. This is gonna be really cool. These are these are awesome. I, I've only been a couple times. Never been this late, so I don't know if there will be ice in them this late. Because this is like the latest in the year that there would be ice. Right now it's just starting to make new ice. Hopefully there's a little I'm sure we'll find a little bit down in the bottom. Anyway, I'm gonna hit the trail. See you up there.
you like the walk? Beautiful. We have made it to the ice caves. What do you think, Jeremy? Man, I'm so excited. I've never been here. But you like caves? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I grew up in one. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Mom, you down there? <laughs> here we go. <laughs> This is not a rock. That's a big block of ice. Is that ice? Yeah. Alrighty, we are inside the caves. I have located some ice in the end of the year. What is it? Last week of September, we got a little ice down here. Check it out. Alrighty, we have survived the ice cave. We are now gonna hike back down out of here, jump in the plane, we're gonna do some trolling. We're gonna try to catch some brookies. We're gonna try to catch some Arctic char, landlocked Arctic char. They are a legit sea run Arctic char. They got trapped in a handful of lakes in the Northeast United States when the ice age retreated. These Arctic char got stuck in a handful of lakes in the Northeast. Um, they needed perfect water to be able to survive. Originally, back before humans ruined everything. They were able to survive in a lot of lakes. But people uh, over the years developing the land and uh, stocking different ponds with different fish uh, killed off a lot of the char. And unfortunately, there's not many populations left of them. There's only 14 lakes left in the United States. They're all in Maine with native populations. Um, two of them are closed to fishing and 12 of them are still open. So we're going to one today that has, I mean, this is one of the last remaining ponds to have these landlocked arctic char. Uh, hopefully we can get into some good action. We'll probably keep a few rookies, uh, bring them back to the camp tonight, cook them up for dinner. But the caves are pretty cool. We're gonna get hiking down out of here. I will see you back at the plane. Alrighty guys, we have made it into pond number two of the trip. Uh, this is the Arctic char pond. Look at these colors behind me. Beautiful. This is actually the colors of what the fish are gonna look like today, hopefully. Their belly should be all orange, pink, bright yellows. Um, got permission to use the boat in here, so we're gonna roll it into the water. Throw the outboard on, we're gonna go out and see if we can catch one. So, here we go, I'm pumped. I really hope we can hook into one that has these beautiful colors on. I'll see you out there. I gotta say, you got a pretty nice loon call. Big. It's probably a jar. Yeah. Here's dinner. 
Jesse's on the board. We've got our first brookie in the boat. We're gonna do a catch and cook with that later back at the camp. Um, but if you wanna watch the full detail of the cook, you're gonna have to go over to Jesse's channel and check it out. I'll probably do a little bit of a taste test and the reaction of uh, what I think of it. But if you wanna see the actual catch and cook part of it, you're gonna have to head on over to Mainly Outdoors. Check him out. You can also get Jeremy's reaction to what he thinks. Um, you can check him out on Facebook and YouTube, uh, The Timber Cross. Bring the rods back out and we're gonna do a little bet here. The first Arctic char is the winner and the loser has to jump in with Jeremy when he jumps in. There's a cliff right down here. We might jump off the cliff. We'll see it with an Arctic char soon. That's a nice Ooh, that's fish. That's a good one. That's a nice fish. Nice fish. Caulker. I'm guessing a good, like a two pound brookie. Two and a half pound brookie is my guess. Oh. Was it a good one? It's, it's decent. It's like we Shoot. should let her go. Yeah. Big native. She's going to produce a lot of native. Ooh. Oh, that's a nice brookie, isn't it? Oh, Ooh, nice. That's real good. Nice catch. That's nice rookie. Beauty. This is what we came for. Well, this is almost what we came for. We would like to get a char, but nothing like a good native rookie. All right, we're gonna let her go. So we're taking a little break, stretching our legs. Um, we spotted something in the water here that looks. It looks a lot like a ring to me. Uh, it could be a pop cap. Either way, Jeremy's gonna pay his debt for the cribbage game that I, what happened last night? Barely won. Barely won. I mean, I mean he... barely won by like 90. Here we go! Oh. How is it? Well, due to the moisture, <laughs> it's wet. All right, now I don't know if you can see what we're looking at here. Well, you only got one shot. He's got it. He's got it. Does he have it? What is it? What does it feel like? Oh, wait, wait, did I laugh? Oh, gosh. <laughs> get away, get away. <laughs> that was some, that was some slight hand right there. It's oh. a ring. Oh, nice, dude. <laughs> look at it, dude. Oops. It's a ring? <laughs> oh, look at that. What? <laughs> look at that. No. Mr. Oh, it's tinfoil. I would have jumped in there. It's tinfoil. Yeah, let me see real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. No way. Oh, that's gold. Is it inscribed on the bottom? Maybe we can return it. <laughs> Is that the other one? You <laughs> got it. Oh, no. it is a beautiful ring. Oh, okay. Look at that. And the matching fan. Very nice. Look at that, guys. Very nice. Two, rings. Two rings. Two rings. Not bad. Oh, my gosh. What a day. How awesome is this? Look at this. Beautiful. For this time of year, we have been very lucky with the weather. It has been a beautiful chance. Light and variable winds. This water, by the way, is 58 degrees. This man is dedicated to his camera work. If you guys don't go check his channel out, I am gonna unsubscribe you. I'm gonna unsubscribe you if you don't go check out his. You guys gotta go check, I mean, this is dedication. 58 degrees. He's been in there for like 10 or 15 minutes just trying to get some shots for his viewers. So go check him out. We're gonna finish the, night, finish the afternoon out fishing here and then we're gonna head back down to camp. Uh, we're staying there tonight. We've got a few things possibly planned in the morning depending on if we're fogged in. Right now I'm gonna to finish today. We're gonna to get back out on the water. See you soon. All right, so we are back at the camp. Jesse's gonna show us 
his bread and butter. This is what he does best, catch and cooks. He does a lot of cooking on his channel. If you want to get in depth with the catch and cook on how he's going to do it, head on over, mainly outdoors on YouTube. I'll link it in the description. Here's the first bite. I'm going to get a little rice. What are these? I don't know what they are. I'm going to get some of these leaves. Some dill. So here we go. No, you guys shouldn't try it. Yeah, you're going to eat the whole thing? Yeah, I'll, I'll take care of this. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm gonna, I'll that go, is actually like... I'll go throw it away. Pretty good? That's killer. Good. All right. That is, that's what I want to hear. That is, <laughs> I'm not just saying it either for the video. That's it's perfect. That balance. I love the dill. I oh, love it's, no, it's mixed. Oh, so I love so the lemon. Good. Yeah, those. Oh, like the perfect. No, no, the longer you eat it, the better it gets. That perfect balance. Perfectly oh. balanced with that fish. Oh yeah, that is good that is actually. So good. Oh, that is so good. That is one of the better ones I've had. That is really good. I gotta get that recipe off you. I should have paid more attention oh, when you did oh, it. Piece of cake. Yeah, it was, lemon. I'm, I'm not. I'm gonna leave the recipe out of this, but you can head over to his channel and get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna have him write it down for me. Then we're gonna go play hey, some more cribbage. Is this a kangaroo? And this is always a big conversation piece. I mean, the tail looks like it could be a cat, but I, like the, the colors and I, it looks a lot like a kangaroo. I think it could also be a mountain lion. My vote is mountain lion. Kangaroo. It could be a kangaroo. Hundred percent. I just don't know why there would be a kangaroo up here. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm curious because there's been a lot of arguments over this. And if somebody actually that knows something about this could solve this debate once and for all, that would be that would be awesome. I'm probably gonna wrap up videoing for the night. We are gonna go out and play some cribbage, and we're gonna put a wager on. We haven't figured out what it is, so I'll see you guys in a few hours. All right, good morning, guys. Um, we just got up and going. It is 6.30 in the morning. We do have a little bit of fog that rolled in, so we aren't going anywhere anytime soon. And today's the day we head out. We'll probably hang around and explore till noontime or so. Sad day. It's always sad when you gotta leave here. I, I love this place so much. I, I'm very grateful to have the opportunity to spend as much time as I have at a place like this. It is truly awesome. But when you're up here, it's like, I don't know, it takes you back in time. It gives you a look at what life used to be before, before the world got crazy. Um, anyway. I am gonna run just a little flight. Uh, it's not far, I'm gonna go gas the plane up so we don't have to do it this afternoon. We can fish right up until as late as we want. Last night the poker game was pretty, uh, it was pretty good. So Jesse ended up losing and the bet was that they had to jump in the lake first thing this morning. We ended up staying up until like 1.30 this morning. So, instead of doing it first thing this morning, Jesse did it at 1.30 before we went to bed. So technically it was first thing in the morning. He went down, jumped off the dock. Jeremy ended up jumping in with him. And the water is 58 degrees. The air temperature is like 50 degrees. These guys are absolutely nuts. Anyway, um, to go to where we're gonna go char fishing is uphill. And to go to where I'm gonna get gas is downhill. Uh, with this low ceiling, this fog, it's flying uphill is not good. It's a chance to get trapped because you're climbing, you're climbing, you're climbing, all of a sudden you. You can't get out, you're too slow to turn around, you don't have room to turn around, and it's just a dangerous situation. Flying downhill is quite a lot safer because obviously the ceiling is where it is, and you're going down, and you're outrunning the ceiling. So you can see where you're going, it's a lot safer to go downhill. So um, right now I'm gonna go down, get uh, top off the gas, and uh, we'll be ready to go home so we can fish as long as we want. It'll be a good day, I really hope we can get the char. Anyway, I've talked long enough. I'm gonna get this thing in the air, here we go. Alrighty guys, we are taking a quick break. We've been fishing for a couple hours. We got in here a little late this morning. We had some fog, but we made it in. Um, now we're just stretching our legs and soaking up some of these incredible views. How can you not enjoy this? This is, it's crazy. Um, we still have not caught the Arctic char. Uh, we've been giving it a good effort. We've tried really hard. We're gonna jump back in the boat and we're gonna head back out. Uh, we're gonna troll from here to the plane. It's getting pretty late in the day now. So if we don't get one between here and there, the Arctic char is gonna be a strikeout for this trip. But. The trip was not a strikeout. It was a phenomenal trip, killer trip. And Jeremy, you guys gotta go check his channel out because he, his videography work on this trip is gonna be insane. If you wanna see some cinematic videography stuff, it's, you guys, you guys definitely gotta go check that out because it's gonna be something special. 
Um, anyway, I'm gonna jump in the boat, we're gonna troll back to the plane, and then we're gonna get in the air, head back for the coast, get stuff unpacked, cleaned up, um, and out of these three-day clothes. Hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. It was truly incredible. Awesome trip all around. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.